What are three prepping related products that I would recommend to anyone? Hey guys, T2O here. Welcome back to the Time Preparedness Channel. Today's video, we are talking gear, we are talking items, we are talking products that I would recommend you pick up or you buy if you are seriously thinking about long-term prepping. So for this video, I wanted to think long-term prepping. I wanted to think long-term items that would help you now, would help you in a year, would help you in five years down the road. So I sit back and I think to my grandma, you see, my grandma on my dad's side spent over 20 years living without power, without running water. Most of us complain when the power goes out for a day. She did it for 20 plus years. So I sit and I think about her. I think about what items, what gear, what products would have benefited her in her situation. Because her situation, living without power, living without water, is what many of us are going to face if a big event ever occurs. So let's kick this list off with number three, and that is the GoSun series of stoves. This is the GoSun Go. It is the smallest GoSun stove that you can buy. This is about two, maybe two and a half pounds and will fit in a bug out bag. I've cooked Tostino's pizza rolls in here for a group of people that I went hiking with. David cooked some tacos while he was out fishing. This is a set it and forget it stove that can actually fit in your bag. This, on the other hand, is the GoSun Sport. It weighs about seven pounds, so it's not going in a bag, but in the back of a car, in the back of a truck, yeah, sure, why not? Just a few weeks ago, I had this out. It was a nice, beautiful day outside. I threw some half pound burgers in here, set it out in the sun. The first burger cooked in about 30 minutes. The second burger cooked in about 45. Now, I think back to my grandma. Anytime she wanted a hot meal, she either had to heat up the wood burning stove or she had to pull out the kerosene heater, heat up her entire house just so she could have some warm tea or some warm coffee. Now in winter time, that's not a problem, right? You're heating up your meal, you're heating up your home, no harm, no foul. But in summertime, guys, last week it was 115 degrees here, real feel. If it's 115 degrees outside and you don't have power due to some major event, due to some hurricane, some earthquake, some tornado, some cyber attack, an EMP, whatever the case is. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to heat up my house just so I can have a warm meal knowing that there's no way to cool my house back down except for opening up windows. So with the Ghost Sun series of stoves, you don't have to heat up your home. You don't have to waste your precious fuel just so you can have a warm meal. You set food in this product, you set it out in the sun, 10, 15, 20 minutes depending on the food and your meal is hot and ready. No fuel is required. That means that bag of charcoal can last even longer. That means that couple pounds of propane could last you all event. You don't have to heat your home up or waste your precious fuel just for a hot meal if you had the ghost sun. The second product that I recommend you guys picking up, especially for long-term situations, is the Hydro Blue VersaFlow Kit. Now, chances are you already have found a water filter that you like, whether that's the Life Straws, whether that's the Sawyers, Catadines, doesn't really matter. You have found a water filter that you enjoy using and you're sticking with it. So you're asking me, why would I pick up a different water filter? The Hydro Blue VersaFlow is on par with the Sawyers and the Life Straws. Anything that they can do, this can do it as well. So picking up another water filter is not necessarily what I'm recommending. Instead, pick up the entire kit. It comes with two half gallon water drinking bags. These bags include a nice carrying handle, a sports cap to drink from, a carabiner to hang from, and will work with your Hydro Blue VersaFlow as a single bag or a double bag gravity fed system. Now, it also includes a brand new Hydro Blue VersaFlow. But my most important part, the reason I recommend this kit, is this stuff right here. As I said, the VersaFlow is on par with the Life Straw and the Sawyer Mini. And there's nothing wrong with the Life Straw or the Sawyers. They are great personal water filters. You see, with the Life Straw, you have to suck every single ounce of water through this straw. And it doesn't matter if it comes in a bottle, if it comes in a cup, or if you're drinking straight from the river, you scoop the water up, 
you put the straw in it and you suck every single ounce. Now the Sawyer products normally come with either a 16 or a 32 ounce water bag. 16 to 32 ounces is great for personal use, right? You're filling up a one liter water bottle, you're filling up your bladder, it's great. It's gonna take you about four or five minutes to fill up that bag, throw your Sawyer on top, roll it all out, gotta go back and get another 16 ounces of water from the river, put your Sawyer on top, squeeze it again, go back, do it again, do it again, do it again. But after some major event has occurred, you're not filling up 16 ounces of water. You're not filling up 32 ounces of water. You're talking about gallons upon gallons per day. If I wanted to squeeze all six gallons of my water that I need per day for my family through a 16 ounce water bag, that's going to be an all day job. Fill the bag up, put the mini on top, squeeze it through. Fill the bag up, put the mini on top, squeeze it through. That is not recommended because that puts that one person on that one job, not able to do anything else, every single day. But for me, I'm going to use the items that come in the kit to make a five gallon bucket adapter. You attach this, you have your clamp, you have your hose, you simply put the dirty end in the hose, you fill this bucket with water, you pop off the clean end, and you hang it. Now when we tested this, myself and David, we got one gallon of water in about eight and a half minutes. That equal to about 190 gallons of water per day. Are you going to need 190 gallons? Probably not. Community, you might need 20 gallons. You might need 30 gallons. You might need 40 gallons for your community, for your group. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about sharing straws, but I don't want 20 other people sharing my life straw with me. And the Sawyers, a little 16 ounce squeeze bag, that bag's going to bust before you get that 20, 30, 40 gallons. With this, five gallons at a time, you let it flow. When I think about this system and using it in some sort of post-disaster scenario, I think back to my grandma. You see, she would take two one-gallon empty jugs and she'd walk down to the creek. And she would stick those jugs in that dirty water, fill it up, and walk back home. Now, her water filter system was nothing more than a couple of paper towels. She would have her one gallon jug of water she just got from the creek. She would have a two liter bottle, a funnel, and some paper towels stuffed in it. Then she would pour that dirty water through the paper towels into the two liter bottle. And she would consider it clean. Now if she had a system like this, she could easily set it up in her house, on her porch, wherever. Walk back and forth to the creek until you fill this jug up. Then set it somewhere high. A table, a porch, a counter, doesn't really matter but you let this thing hang. Then when you want some water, you pull off the blue end, you stick your bottle beneath it. It fills it up. Now instead of that water having the dirty little nasty floaties in it, it's clean, it's filtered. You've gotten rid of the microplastics. You've gotten rid of the cryptosporidum, the E. coli, and the Giardia. It costs you $30 to set this system up, and it can filter 190 gallons a day. Now, does she need 190 gallons a day? Absolutely not. But this is a reserve tank. One gallon per person per day. That means that each time you fill this up, you're getting five days worth of water on a personal level. For her, if it was raining, she's too old and fragile, she couldn't walk down to the creek. With this system, she would have spare water in case it rained for two or three days. She would still have her drinking water ready to be filtered at a moment's notice with some in reserve. Now moving on to product number three. When I think about my grandma, I think how she never had lights in her house. Her only source of light was usually a kerosene lantern. Kerosene lanterns do not give off that much light, especially for a 70 to 80 year old woman that she was. When I think about some big event happening, one of the most overlooked items is lighting equipment. The best light you can buy for long term solution is the DesiWatt Now Light. You can find solar lights basically everywhere nowadays. They're at Walmart, they're at the Dollar Tree store. Hell, I even have one behind me lighting up this area right there. And they're great until you use up all the power and the next day it's raining or the next day there's an overcast. You can't set that solar panel in the sun and recharge that device if there's no sun. That is why the DesiWatt Now Light 
is far superior than just a solar light. It does come with a solar panel, so you can charge it via that panel if there's light. If there's no power or no sun, you simply pull this cord. You can mount it up somewhere, pull this cord for two, three, five minutes at a time, and have plenty of light. The DesiWatt offers lighting options. Low, two, three, four, five, six. You can also get a secondary light or even a third light to go with it. These two have multiple settings and they can hang basically anywhere in your home and provide you with light. On the bottom of this product is a USB charger. Now my grandma didn't have a cell phone and USBs weren't a thing when she was alive. But nowadays, basically every phone, every radio, every flashlight, every headlamp, if it's rechargeable, it has a USB cord with it. So you plug whatever device you want to charge up into it and it takes from the internal power bank. Oh no, the bank's running dead. You simply walk by and pull the cord a couple times. This is an amazing product for long-term lighting solutions because number one, it doesn't require fuel. My grandma, she used kerosene. And yes, she's only filling up a little 16 to 20 ounce container for her kerosene lamp, but that got expensive. It got expensive quick. Kerosene's five to six to even seven dollars a gallon in some places. So yeah, her burning that lamp every single night, multiple hours throughout the night, quickly would burn through a gallon. Number two, there's no batteries required. This device operates by itself. You don't have to plug in double A's. You don't have to throw in triple A's. When you're talking about lining up an area for a long period of time, you're talking about stacking up stacks and stacks and stacks of batteries to run a little lantern or to run a flashlight. With this, there's no batteries required for it. Number three, there's no solar input required. Solar devices, solar items are great when there's sun. If there's no sun due to some sort of storm, some sort of overcast, or some sort of winter conditions, you can no longer recharge said device. It does come with a solar panel, so if there is sun, throw it out there and let it recharge. But if there's not, you simply walk by and pull the cord. So when I think about this product, I think about my grandma. How simple would this have been for me to hang it up on the back of her door when she was still alive, she walked by, she pulled the cord every couple minutes, or she runs the solar panel outside. If it's sunny, hey, it recharges on its own. If not, she can pull that cord a couple times throughout the day and it would give her enough light to operate her entire house. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, these are the three items that I would actually recommend to anyone, especially if you're considering long-term prepping solutions. You've got the DesiWatt Now Light, you've got the GoSun series of stoves, the Hydro Blue VersaFlow kit. That's all I got for today's video. If you guys recommend anything else for long-term solutions, let me know down in the comment section. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. T2 out.